Hi, this is Ilma Art Studios photograph for today. That is a jazz festival with a, a car show right on the road of Broadway. Hi, check my website at ilmaarts.com for more artworks and photographs. Today I'd like to share with you 1 Peter 1 verse 8. It says, you love him even though you have never seen him. Though you do not see him now, you trust him. And you rejoice with a glorious, inexpressible joy. Here's my poem. Even when you don't see him. Do you love the Lord with all your heart, soul, and mind? Do you cling to his words so you won't stay blind? Do you question things that happen in your life? Do you blame him for all the trials and the strife? Those who are faithful believers never doubt him. Even though they don't see him, they still believe. Though they don't see him, they still trust his word. They follow his truth so they can conquer the world. Here's my essay. Faith is defined as a complete trust or confidence in someone or something. It is believing without a doubt or someone or something. Even when I was surrounded with so much chaos and confusion in my childhood, I never doubted or wavered, believing that Jesus will be there for me. It only changed when I was in my teens. The enemy ruled my mind and used my traumas and past painful experiences to lessen my faith in God. The Bible tells us that those who believe the Lord never doubt Him. Even if their circumstances are difficult, they still cling to their master and never stop hoping and looking forward to God's promises. Lord, help me to stay faithful to you in any circumstance. Reflection, how has God shown faithfulness to you despite your unfaithfulness? Oh, there are so many occasions that um, God has still provided for all my needs, even though I'm complaining about things that I don't have. But it doesn't mean that He hasn't provided the needs. Uh, the, the problem with people is that we turn wants into needs. So we think that it's a need, and yet it's not. So um, there's one time that... Um, I was so angry with God because I wanted to change my life. I wanted to serve Him. And then I made a bargain with Him that if He gives me the job that I want that time, that I will be faithful to Him. So even my service to Him was conditional. But you know what? God didn't give me the job that I asked for, and I was so mad at Him. And yet God stayed faithful because He knew what was better for me. So the job that I thought was going to do me a favor wasn't really something that God wants for me. So he gave me three times a better paying job and a more substantial job than the one I wanted to, to have. So um, I implore you and I ask you to, that even when you have doubts in your mind, just uh, offer it up to God because the doubt is not from him. It comes from the enemy. So if you go run to the Word and you'll find out that there is a lie that's being perpetuated by the enemy once you start doubting. And in James, it says that we shouldn't be wavering like the, the, the tide of the sea that goes to and fro because our life will be chaotic if we do that. But we should never waver with our faith. Thanks for watching and I hope you had a wonderful Christmas and I hope that you're preparing, um, cleaning up the house or whatever that needs to be decluttered uh, in preparation for the new year. Have a blessed, blessed year come to, to come to you this year.